Hi everyone and welcome to a new tutorial video for the Open World Audio System version 2. And today I want to add looping support to the um, randomly played uh, exploration music. So, I initially I really wanted this to be part of the version 2 of the pack, but it, there isn't really a straightforward way to do this and the way I thought of right now which I hope works if you're watching the video it works uh, it's going to add a bunch of stuff to the audio struct and I don't want that in there but if this is something you also want then you can use this tutorial to add that uh, to your to your pack so right now when we take this audio area 9 for example we have a bunch of different exploration tracks uh, set up here in different queues and maybe the, they are really short. They are around 20 seconds. So maybe I want multiple loops of them playing. Maybe I want two. Maybe I want it to be random. I'm going to make it uh, so that we support random. Now the, the way I had in mind, I already tried like 10 different methods, but it's not as obvious as you first think. And there's a bunch of issues that uh, show up, unfortunately. First off, let me start off with the right thing. I think we need to and make sure that everything is looping. So I'm just gonna, maybe I should do it like this. Uh, boom, boom. Okay, so we're gonna enable looping on the way file in, uh, in the queue editor. That's what you'll need to do for this method. Now I tried a bunch of different ways with the queue editor as well, but uh, the queue editor always takes the longest possible uh, duration as the duration even if you use uh, branches or um, in, even if it's um, parameter based so it's it's pretty much impossible to do in here uh, so now they all loop so once they start playing they will keep playing infinitely which is not what we want but we'll get there so I think I'll go to the struct yes I'll add three new variables, one for loops min, loops min, loops max, and I'll add a sound wave object reference, sound wave reference. I'll set the defaults for loops to one, so that when it switches to loops, it will always do one, even if you uh, maybe forgot that it was enabled, so that you know you don't suddenly have no audio playing but if you want that reminder for yourself to maybe have no audio playing then you can leave that at zero i think we need to compile the audio area so that it shows up when we click it let's open it up now we can see we have the loops min loops max sound wave reference in there as well also here we won't use it for ambient see that's why i want to not do this method um F for uh, the default because then it would just change a whole lot so I'm gonna set everything to 2 so basically it always plays twice now we're gonna go there and now we need to uh, enter all the wave files and basically what we're gonna do is only use these wave files for the duration just we're gonna get that duration info from these wave files this also limits you in how you can set up your exploration music cues. You know, you, you can't really. This is this this loop thing really only supports um, only supports a uh, single track playing. You can't do random in here because then this information won't be accurate again. I mean, you can, but then it will fade out at a random time. All right. So up next, we now have the loops min, loops max that we can change per instance, per sound even. So that's pretty cool, I, I would say. Um, we have the sound wave reference, and now we need to actually make it work. And we'll go into the audio manager for that. So you can, if you can't find it there, you can go to music, ambient, main, audio manager. And we'll go into the delayed exploration uh, event graph, which can be found on the left in graphs. We'll go here. Where we have this calculation going on and let me think about this for a second because if i want we need mm, yes we'll get this and we'll check if it's longer than 2000 seconds because i think if it's longer than 2000 seconds we can pretty much state 
yeah, 2000 should be fine. We can pretty much say, yes, this is looping. This is a looping sound, or it's one heck of a long sound, but then you just need to make this a little bit higher. You can make this 8000 if you want to play it safe, but for me, 2000 should definitely be fine. And we're going to want to do that in there. And if it's false, so by default, we will use the sound of the cue. So if you're, you don't always have to enter a sound wave, you know, only if you want to use that looping support or if you want to have your cue looping. Um, otherwise, we can just get the info from the cue and uh, play it regularly. And we can actually, we'll do, we'll test it out, see if that works. So we'll do random integer in range. We get the sound wave and hope, yeah, we can get the duration. So that's great. We'll do times float. So we'll multiply these two and that will be our new, uh, our new duration going into here. So this should be fine. This should work actually. So I'm going to go ahead and test it. Um, we should hear the loop play twice and then fade out. So we're here. I maybe should have set the delay between pieces of music. Oh, there we go. So that's one fades in slowly as it should. Not my favorite uh, piece of the music that I added, but it will do. I think it just looped there. So we had one loop, now we're on the second. And then it fades out. Great. Maybe we'll test one more before we test if the other thing still works. Oh, it's playing the same one. Nope, we're not doing that. Let's actually go into the manager. See what happens. See uh, what this value says. 28 seconds. So that's definitely correct because all the tracks are shorter than 25 seconds. And we subtract for the fading. And we multiply by 0 0.95 to make sure that you know it fades before it cuts off. This one is pretty obvious. See here it loops. This is the second loop. Great. And then fade out. There we go. It fades out. Alright, awesome. That seems to work. You can now add uh, as many loops as you want. You can now per audio area set uh, loops min, loops max, per sound even, which I think is nice. You could, of course, if you don't want it in there, you could actually add the loops min, loops max, max to the audio area instead of inside the struct. And then you can say it per area. Might be nicer. I'm not sure what I'll do yet, but for now, for the tutorial, this is fine. Um, what else was I, did I say we were going to check? say if it still works if we don't loop yeah let's let's actually do that we'll delete all of these uh we'll add see if we don't get errors or something turn off looping so it, it just plays once it's below that 2000 second threshold go here wait for it to play fades in nicely Fades out for it ends. Great, doesn't loop like we don't want to right now. And if I press escape, there's errors. Damn it, <laughs> I knew it. Uh, so why, 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 why? It doesn't need that here. See, that's I get that more often. I hmm. I think because we already. Can we do like, we'll add a valid check here. Uh, select, I don't know if this will work, we'll find 
out. So if it is valid, we'll do this. If it's not valid, we'll return one. I don't know. That doesn't that doesn't really matter. This shouldn't be called. So just to see if we can prevent that error from happening. We know that it works. Once the music starts playing, we can quit. We still get an error. Sound wave reference. So what we'll need to do Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I need to see this as a separate thing right now. So what we, what we can actually do, I think what what's the best thing to do right now is check for validity. I'm I'm sort of surprised actually that this doesn't work cuz I do it on a uh, Oh, I'm sorry about this guys, select float, this is if it's valid, this is if it's, if it's valid, if it's not valid. I don't see why this would work compared to the other one, but I think because it starts at the front. Mm. Let's see, let's see. Oh, still gives an error. Okay, we need to add an actual uh, valid check here beforehand and actually have two different. If it's not valid, we'll go in here straight away. Copy paste this. Mm. Copy paste this, maybe. If it is valid, now we need to add an additional here for close. Continue there. Um, ma, 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 ma. <laughs> this is uh, looking like a me uh, blueprint before I uh, <laughs> send it somewhere. So duration needs to go in here. Yes. So I can, we need to duplicate those two nodes, place them below here. And if it's valid, we will subtract this. Otherwise it will stay the same. And we hook this up here. So it's not as clean as I hoped it would be, but let me have a look. If it's not valid, I'm gonna place this here. It will use this one. If it's valid, it will use that one. And that one uses the sound wave. So you need a sound wave now. Alrighty. This took a little bit longer. Let's go test it out. I hope you don't mind these sort of videos that I... Because uh, I, I, I'm a little bit short on time. So I can't do this entire thing. And then delete it again. And then make a video about it. I like to uh, involve you in that process. And it allows me to do more videos. No error, great. Um, so it allows me to involve you in that process and uh, I, I hope you like it. If you don't or if you have any feedback, uh, let me know. If you like the audio pack, please leave a five star review. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I'm gonna test it one more time. Just both of the, uh, just to see if it works. You can stick around or you can head out. So it should not loop, just play once. Just plays once, fades out again, works fine. That's awesome. Now let's see if we can loop this. Loop it twice. Jump back in. Did we actually? There, there's no sound wave reference. So we do need, we do need that, of course. Otherwise, it will fall back. Sound wave reference. There we go, music fades in.
go again. Here it goes again. And then, right about now, I think it should start fading out. There we go. Starts fading out. And done. Perfect. Awesome. So this is working. I'm going to be adding this to Aaron's right after this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for following along. And I'll see you in the next one.